the learning portfolio is very different, say, from a co-curricular record or uh, anything of that sort. It's not a document that sums up uh, a series of achievements. It's an interactive, open-ended kind of thing. In a sense, it's the it's the plan students begin to build for themselves in which they establish goals for their education and uh, reflect on the different components that their education might have to achieve those goals. And then once they've had those experiences, they can re reflect upon them as well. So it is, uh, it's very much uh, an active, dialogic kind of a tool so that the student can build a more personalized uh, and uh, um, self-reflective uh, sense of the, their evolving academic career. As we're imagining it, it'll have a, a sort of a, uh, an e-portfolio, an electronic base, which will be in a sense the document, to use the term uh, very broadly. But then the other component to the learning portfolio here at Mac will be something that will involve the learning process in which it is embedded, so that will involve mentoring from faculty members, group work with other students and so on. And therein, I think, will lie one of the great attractions of it, because uh, it will succeed uh, depending on the quality of mentoring and collaborative work in which the students uh, uh, involve themselves. I'll know we've succeeded when, when every student who comes to the university is able to be an active participant in the design and imagining of what that academic career will look like and identifying the goals and then achieving those goals and having the kind of personal and intellectual satisfaction that comes from achieving those goals.